Hello everyone. In this short video, I want to show you a very powerful, amazing tool, which is under the tab evaluate called body compare, which I have not talked about so far. So let's say this is the CAD model that you designed for a part that your company makes. And now you send it to the manufacturing. They made the part and you want to know if the part they made is basically matching your CAD file or not. Well, of course, they can pick up their um, calipers or micrometers and make some measurements. But if you have some complicated surfaces, doing the check for a surface tolerance or a profile tolerance is not easy uh, with any primitive tool like those. And you need to use a scanner or you need to use a CMM machine or something. So let's say here you scan this. And now you want to compare what you want to compare the scan version of this versus what versus the original solid. OK, so here, uh, of course, in the tools, you have to go to add ends and make sure scan to 3D is active. And then you are going to open and here pick scan to 3D mesh files and pick the scan uh, STL file and bring it in and then you can convert it into a solid model so let's say this is the scan part of course this is not really the scan here i have uh, saved it as stl but let's say your scan turned out to be this beautiful which never is in real life so when you bring it it's a mesh file not a solid so you cannot compare solid against solid you have to convert this mesh to solid so you right click on the mesh go to mesh prep wizard and you can reorient the part here let's say it's good and you can basically if there is any extra data from the scan you can get rid of it by a lasso by brush or something this is of course exported there is no uh, extra data you can do global simplification if you want to reduce the number of um, basically vertices or triangles you can do that you can do it locally and then you can do uh, smoothness right globally locally and then you can launch once your mesh file is good you can launch the surface wizard and here i do automatic creation and go forward and then pick how many small patches of surfaces you want and now you okay that so it can create the surfaces and then from them it can create a solid object and if you see there are some areas that will be not perfect because your scan is not going to be as perfect and you can go back and redo it but let's say here just for the sake of learning that i'm not going to delete any surface with errors so do you want to delete them i say no and i let it create the solid with some uh, errors so if you see here clearly the solid is not going to be as beautiful and as clean as what the original part right if i get rid of these lines you clearly can see the deformation so let's say this is what i get out of uh, my manufacturing and i go ahead and save this okay i save this uh let's say uh, manufactured part manufactured scanned part so i have this one and let me go ahead and apply the same material as the other one does and save it and now i want to bring this one and the other one and compare them okay so it's this guy versus this one and of course i want to what as i said i want to uh compare so what do i do there are two ways you can do it. You can either do it in the part design or in the assembly design. In the part design, you have to go to insert part, bring that STL, and then you have to put that STL exactly where this part is. So you have to make all make sure all the uh, surfaces, all the faces are coincident. So they have to be on the top of each other for the comparison. If they are, have offset, you, you cannot really make a meaningful uh, thing. And the problem is, if one of them has mesh files, then you cannot easily apply constraints. You have to manually do translation and rotation, which is done under direct editing, uh, move copy body, right? You see? And you have to move the one that you import with moving and uh, translation and rotation and try to visually put them on the top of each other. You cannot use this constraint like coincidence or something. 
okay? So a better way to do it in such case is to use assembly. So because assembly has more uh, power to recognize surfaces and allow coincidence between the surfaces, okay? So here I bring the original one and this uh, manufacturer scan parts and I bring them one by one. So let's say this is that original one and uh, this is this guy. Okay, so now I have to, as I said, put them right on the top of each other. And uh, this is what I'm going to do. So I go ahead and I say mate. And then for mate, I pick this surface. And let's say uh, if I can, you see, that's the problem that one of them is flat. The other one is not. Okay, and that is typically your problem. So let me pick an edge if I can, like that hopefully that is good enough seems like it is then we add let's say another surface of so this one and the bottom is flat so i should be able to make them flush there we go so the only thing we need to do is uh one of the left or right surfaces okay so let's see i can move this something like that and get one, one clean surface. If I can do that, that is going to be amazing. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so now they are exactly on the top of each other, of course, except for discrepancies, which you can visually see. So now I go to uh, evaluate and use this guy, body compare. And for the source body, I can pick the CAD model. Let's see. Yes, original part. And here I need to pick up the other one. And you might say, how would you pick the other one when they are on the top of each other? This is where you select other. So you come here, you right click and say select other. And here you can use that imported part as the compare body. Okay, something like this. And then you can pick basically uh, the range of the legend. So here plus uh, 11 inches between them and negative 0.11 inches between them are going to go anywhere from red to blue. And you can what? You can uh, change this, right? And pick some meaningful range, something like that. And here your accuracy is not really enough so you need to use a third um, uh, digit but if you do so and go here you can clearly see that in the blue areas one object is bigger than the other and in the red areas if there is any the um, second object is bigger okay so the difference is negative so it is going to show all the differences. And of course, here you have a bunch of differences in this case. Okay. And uh, let me show you just another object for comparison. So here I'm going to get rid of this. And I bring another version of the object, which has some features difference. This time it's not coming from a scan. It is coming from some... Uh, modifications in the part okay so let's go ahead and do that part and i called it modified part this one is a cad model where these radii are smaller and then the bottom here has fillet here it doesn't it's sharp so i just want to compare these two as well for you for the sake of learning and then we are uh, going to finish this uh, video. So here we go. And let's fix this guy so it doesn't move. And finally, make these perfectly on the top of each other. It's a good time for comparison and body compare. Uh, Seems like the command is already active. So let me turn it off, turn it on again. So this one is gonna be the original one. Then you come here, right click and select the other and you pick the modified one. And here we go, you can clearly see that in the blue areas there is difference and that's because the radius fillet for the modified and original are different. 
and also uh, in this area also there is some discrepancy too right because the radius is not there and if i go down a little bit now we can see that red that i mentioned for you which is the area that there is a fillet in one and there is no fillet in the other one so this is really good for comparison knowing where the parts are different and going and modifying them so hopefully this video was useful to you and i'll see you in the next lecture thank you